Steins Gate is an interesting show. It offers a great time travel story and filled with lots of great suspense. But I know what you're thinking. Why am I reviewing an episode of an anime that aired four years ago, especially when I've already reviewed the whole series like uh, two years ago, and when I don't do episodic reviews normally? Well, the reason is simple. Like there are multiple world lines at Steins Gate, there are multiple versions of this episode. And a new version of episode 23 came out a week or two ago, and it is meant to be a lead up to the Steins Gate Zero. If you did not know, Steins Gate Zero is a sequel to the original visual novel, and an anime adaptation for it has been announced, so that's good. Moving on to the episode itself, the original episode 23 was one of the best episodes of the original and it and episode 24 really came together to give the show a great conclusion. And this new version of episode 23 in many ways does the same thing, at least in giving the show a conclusion, but it does so in a different way. For the most part, the episodes are identical, at least until a certain character makes a different choice about two thirds of the way through the episode. And then from there, everything changes. And the thing is, I think this actually makes for a more satisfying conclusion, or at least a more realistic one. With the change that occurred, we get to see how Okabe processes all the events that happen and tries to move on with his life, and the decision that changed in many ways feels like it's a more natural thing for the character to do. Of course, this episode's purpose was to build hype for Steins Gate Zero, and that is something that it did very well. Specifically with the after credits scene, which had me shouting gibberish at my monitor, something that has not been done since Panny and Stocking. And now I really want to see the new series, though that probably won't be for a couple years, but maybe since the first series was so popular, they'll adapt this one faster. And I'm also hoping that because the anime is so popular, they can make the visual novel with that in mind, so they could make a better anime adaptation of a visual novel, since that seems to be something that is very hard to do well. So, in conclusion, if you're a fan of the show, go check out this alternate version of episode 23, and then you can join me in being hyped for zero. And yeah, that's about it for me today. I will have a new review out soon, and I will talk to you later. Goodbye.